Hello, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm here to do your nightly reading, but I really kind of, I want to talk about um, where we are on this journey, okay? Um, everybody is in a different place on their journey, all right? And not every reading is going to resonate with all of you. That's kind of impossible for one person to have a world of 8 billion people, you know, um, having a, the one message resonate with everyone. You know what I mean? Um, so just try to understand that not everyone um, is as healed as, as another or not, you know, um, maybe somebody out there just had their heart broken and they need our help. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? And thank you so much, Cancer, for everything, for all of your support. My subscribers, you guys, thank you so much for joining this family, you guys. Seriously, it's a family to me out here. And welcome to everybody new here. I'm Mammy Becca. Hi. Um, all right, so... Cancer, thank you also for all of the confirmations. You guys, I've been getting so many confirmations in the, uh, in the comment section. And also in reading the comments, I did pick up on, um, I read somebody who was saying that they were really, truly suffering. Okay, really, truly suffering. And this is why I know this reading isn't going to be for all of you, but it, it's going to resonate with a lot of us. Okay, a lot of you, a lot of everybody. Um, Okay, so whoever is suffering, right, whoever's still feeling really hurt over what happened with your person or whatever it is that you're going through, it could be, it doesn't have to be about love. Um, it could be friends that you've been betrayed by. It could be a lover. It could be family, okay? It could be something with work, all right? Um, but I, I feel like if you're, if you're feeling like suffering, like, um, you know, why am I always suffering, right? Why, why are people have wronged me and I haven't seen my justice, you know? Um, well, we've all been in that situation. But um, I feel like it's about what you're thinking about. That's what you're getting more of. Okay, and I'm saying this because I really, truly, I really do want to help you. And I'm telling you now that you may have had your heart broken. You know, you may have been a victim for a, a couple hours. You know, the divine let you feel that, right? But then after that, you picked yourself up and that's when you, just, that's when you started being a warrior. Okay, um, I want you to, instead of instead of focusing on how badly you were hurt and the things that happened to you in the past, now is the time to start focusing on um, empowerment, right? Empowering yourself, knowing that, knowing that you are a true warrior. Focus on the things that are going to make you happy. Start filling your life with um, new things, you know? Go and explore. Uh, and it doesn't have to be big. Go walk, take a walk, you know, um, get out in the sunlight, right? Little by little, it's baby steps, I feel, okay? Little by little um, to get out of isolation and um, out of that feeling of pain, you know? Right now we're in this time. All of us are in this time where we need to release something. And I feel like that's burdens and baggage from the pains that people put us through in the past. You know, we also have been needing to take a look at ourselves and realize the things about ourselves that we need to release or heal from, right? Um, so I feel like basically what I'm saying to you is... who. Um, if you're suffering and you can't get out of that mind space, I'm telling you, you got to get out of that mind space. You know, because the more you focus on the pain, that's more, you're going to get more of it. Okay? Um, there's a thing called the Law of Attraction. And there's a movie on it. It's called Seek The Secret. I think it's called The Secret. Okay? Um, you can probably Google this, right? The law of attraction, the things that you think about and the things that you focus on and the things that you tell yourself, 
those are the things you're, that are going to be turning into re a reality for you in your life, okay? So if you're constantly thinking about the pain and you're constantly like, I mean, it, it's, it hurts. I get it. All of us have been there. Why do you think we all turn to tarot? We wanted answers. We wanted some uplifting messages and we wanted somebody that would understand the pain and be there for us. Okay? We've all been there. All right? But I feel like uh, we all must understand, too, that the things we focus on become our reality. So I want you guys to, for whoever this is resonating with, Google it. Read about the law of attraction. I didn't just make that up. That's been out there for a really long time. And I'm telling you, the more you focus on the pain and the things that you went through, the more of that pain you're going you're gonna to be feeling, okay? Or it'll prolong the growth, right? Um, so I, I feel like, um, or it'll prolong the pain. I guess I want to say it'll, it'll, it'll kind of hinder the growth, right? Um, yeah, the more you think about good, positive things, those are the things you're going to attract to you. You know, so wake up every day, one, being thankful, two, um, I was told that you feel very alone in the comment section. You have to know you are never alone. You're never alone. Okay, spirit is always with you since before you were born. Okay, you had spirit guides and they've been with you this whole time. And, and everything has been witnessed that you've been through. Okay, it has. You know what I do? I take spirit out on dates. <laughs> we talk all the time. Everybody here knows that. For those of you who have been with me for a long time, you know that. Look at my table. Everything on the table is, is for the divine. These are little gifts I buy them when I go out. We go out together. Um, when they tell me they want to get out and about, I have to drop everything and we go. I take them on dinner dates. Okay, we've gone to Cave of the Mounds together. That was fun. Um, you know, they're always in the car with me. They're always talking to me. I talk to them with pendulum readings, okay? Um, I talk to spirit every day, and I never, ever feel alone. I never feel alone, you know? Um, so I'm quite comfortable in isolation, and my friends and the, the ones who love me best, all my spirit guides, they're all around me all the time, as they are with you, okay? Um, get to know them, all right? You know, um, uh, you could even possibly listen to like um, the, there's videos out there of meditation music. If you listen, just lay down, get to make yourself comfortable, listen to one of those videos. Some of them will walk you through it even. I I'm telling you, if you call on your spirit guides, they will talk to you during that time. Okay? You're never alone. Um, and you've, you found us here. So you're never alone here either, okay, on this channel, all right? But, um, yeah, little by little, you just need to, it's kind of like a redirection of your thoughts, okay? Instead of focusing on the negative things that have happened to you in the past, um, focus on the positive, right? Instead of feeling lack or sadness or, um, you know, feeling that suffering, right? Um, focus on the fact that, on the fact that you're a warrior, okay? So, yeah, you're gonna, baby steps, though. Baby steps, right? Let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards my beautiful collective? Oh, bye. Have, right. a, have a great day. You too. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna move my pendulum over. But yeah, you are never alone. But here's the thing. I mean, this, thinking about the suffering, that will only bring you more suffering. But if you focus on the happiness, right, 
that'll bring you more happiness. I feel like spirit also wants you to get out in the sunshine, you know, put on something something pretty or something handsome, right? <laughs> it's not gender specific, okay? But I mean, um, put on something that makes you feel good, that makes you feel great, okay? Um, you know, it, it helps me to dress up once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Um, so maybe that will help you too. You know, focus on the positive. Get into your element. If you're a water sign, get into water, right? Spend some time at a beach, outside, in, in nature. Get yourself grounded. And, and it will help you um, connect better with spirit as well, okay? Spend the day with yourself and realize you're never alone, okay? And, and be happy about it. Be excited about it. Look, new things are coming in for you after heartache and betrayal, okay? You've had your heart mangled, all right? You've cried a million tears, um, a, 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 a million sleepless nights, right? All the worry, the trouble, not knowing what's going on, no clarity, no closure, no answers, no communication, right? Maybe even no one around you who truly understands, right? But the divine does. And I'm telling you, I feel like spirit has a door open for you here. Um, and I feel like with this open door, look, everything is going to start opening for you now. But spirit is kind of hanging around here, beckoning you to find a place of peace within yourself. Okay? And start getting out there, right? Get out there into the sunlight, man. Your rainbow's over there. It's not inside feeling heartbroken. Okay? Your happiness is through this door to that rainbow and the peace of this dove. Not in your house in isolation feeling heartbroken. Okay? But this is also about what you're manifesting. All right? You can manifest a rainbow, right? Into your life. Or you can manifest feeling that pain. Okay? And what, what, like I said, when I say manifesting, I'm talking about the law of attraction. It's kind of the same thing, just with a different name. Okay? It's what you're focused on, what you're thinking about, what, you're, what your mind is on all the time. Okay? And if your mind is on the pain of the past, that's what you're going to be feeling more of. You know? Try to steer your mind into focusing on happier things. Focus on the rainbow, okay? All right, focus on peace. Focus on tranquility. Focus on your happiness, happy things, positive vibes, like, like for real, you know? Tell yourself every day, I'm not a victim, I'm a warrior, You know, you got yourself up. You're still here, you, right? Do you know uh, with everything that you've been through, it, it was probably enough to make um, anybody else buckle. You know, and I feel like being the most loving sign in the zodiac, it, it was people taking advantage of your love, right? Yeah, look at you've got Archangel Michael protecting you. You're not alone. <laughs> You're a warrior. Okay, this is warrior energy. Yes, it is. And you're the goddess of the moon and you're loving. Okay, so intuitive, an intuitive warrior who's the most loving sign in the zodiac. Okay, I'm telling you now you can manifest way better for yourself than feeling more heartache or prolonging it, okay? You have all the tools you need, baby, to manifest a happy ending for this, okay? 
Yeah. You're a warrior. You're intuitive. You've got intuitive special abilities here with the goddess of the moon. Yes. Full cancer energy here in your power. Um, and that love was, you know, people, people took advantage of it. But let me tell you, that love was always your strength. Okay? It was always your strength. You just need to learn where to put it. And right now, you need to put that love into yourself. Yes, amen. Guys, comment. Amen. You need to put that love into you now. That's your power. Your abilities. Power. The fact that you're a warrior. Power. You can manifest way better than more pain. Okay? Yes, you can. Say, yes, I can. Say it. Yes, I can. I can do this. I want you to wake up every day saying, I can do this. You know, what can I go out? Try to make it a point. You know how somebody, <laughs> they're showing me a scene, honestly. They're showing me a scene from the movie Oscar with Sylvester Stallone, you guys. In the movie, um, somebody comes over to visit him and he says, um, where I'm going to have breakfast in the atrium, right? And then he says, you know, I try to learn a new word every day. Today, the word is expeditious, right? That's what he says, okay? Um, so I feel like just like learning a new word every day, some people do that, you know, right? You should, you should discover something new every day. Every day, no matter what it is discover something new whether you're taking a walk whether you're going to a new store uh, whether you want to try a new hobby um, uh, maybe paint a new picture okay write a new poem all right and then and, and let me tell you you're gonna start little by little filling your life full of adventurous beautiful things things that you like you're going to discover the things that you don't like now. This journey has changed you. So you're going to have to rediscover some things anyway. And really, that's what this new phase in your life is kind of for now, is discovering something new. Okay, now we're in that phase of, of wanting something new, moving forward, possibly into the unknown. It's scary and there's a lot of people out there that feel alone, but you never are, you guys. You never are. You know, you're not alone. Manifest the right things for you, not the wrong things for you. How does it feel, right? That pain, it's wrong for you. That's why it's called pain, okay? <laughs> it's wrong for you. Spirit wants you to focus on some lighter things for yourself because honestly, that's what you deserve. And you've got some major powerful manifestation tools here. Okay? So every day, man, every day, tell yourself you can do it. Right? Tell yourself you're not alone because you're not, you're not. And I, I feel like you just need to manifest the positive instead of, you know, try not to focus on the negative. Okay, please. And read up on the law of attraction, you guys. It's out there. I'm sure you can Google it. <laughs> you know, you'll probably find a ton of information about it. Watch a video on it, something like that. These are, th these are things that will really, truly help you. This is a tool that's going to help you for the rest of your life. Okay? So anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for this reading, honestly. Um, I feel it's really important. And, you know, I know this isn't going to resonate with all of you because... Because some people are further along in their journey, you know? But be kind to those in the, in the comment section, all right, who are hurting still. If anything, we're, we're here out here in Terraland. I like to believe we're all out here to build each other up and help each other through a difficult process. It's a process. 
of self-discovery, self-love, and healing. Okay, and transformation. I should add that one in there too. So, you know, um, instead of, you know, don't give anybody a hard time if they're, if they're out there hurting, right, and crying. You know, help to build people up. And I'm telling you, that energy will be returned to you threefold, okay? Anyway, my darlings, that's what I have for tonight's reading. I felt it was very important, okay? Um, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, all right? And thank you so much, my darlings. I love you all so, so much. Know that you are not alone. You're not alone. You're not. I guarantee that, okay? And um, like and subscribe, you guys, if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.